Today we're going to look at the topic of human circulatory system. Before I start, just a quick question. I'm pretty sure most of you have yawned before, right? Do you know what's the reason? Well, some of your parents may have told you that's because you're tired. But do you know what's the scientific reason? That's because our brain is lacking of oxygen, which is why our body will send a signal for us to yawn to take in more oxygen. This is an MCQ question. The diagram below shows how the circulatory, respiratory, and digestive systems in our body work together. The arrows represent the movement of blood in our body. Which arrow, J, K, L, or M, contains the most amount of carbon dioxide? Now, have you annotated the questions ready? Okay, so to do this question, we need to understand the functions of each system. Now, the lungs in our respiratory system takes in oxygen and removes carbon dioxide from our body. The heart in our circulatory system pumps blood that is rich in, do you know what? Let's take a look. There's blood rich in oxygen, blood rich in carbon dioxide, as well as blood that's rich in digested food. So this blue arrow represents blood that's rich in oxygen, is pumped towards the circulatory system, and this green arrow represents the blood that's rich in digested food, that is pumped from the digestive system towards the circulatory system. So our circulatory system takes this blood and pumps it to all parts of the body. Okay, so when our body parts has actually respired, okay, we will produce carbon dioxide gas. And this carbon dioxide gas is pumped back, okay, with this pink arrow, back towards the circulatory system, as well as pumping out to the respiratory system. And that's where it is being removed from our body. So can you make a guess which arrow represents, uh, contains the most amount of carbon dioxide? Do you get it correct? It's arrow K, 